Hey guys, my name is Prasad Mehta and you are watching King of Four Times official. If you are joining me for the first time, don't forget to press the subscribe button. So guys, today we are going to make an amazing recipe how to make a vegetarian sushi that you can make at comfort of your home. So, let's begin. To make sushi you need one and a half cup of rice since rice is the most important part of sushi. Uh, then we have three tablespoon of sugar, 80 ml of vinegar you can use rice vinegar as well and one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now we have to combine these three ingredients which will go into the rice and give a very nice tarty flavor. For the topping I have half a cup of thinly sliced zucchini. I have 6 to 7 pieces of shiitake mushrooms and 1 fourth yellow bell pepper. Now you can also use asparagus, you can use carrots as well but these are my preferred ingredients. To make sushi you also need to remember that you need a sushi mat that's available online. I have put the link in the description and that's nori sheet which will help us to roll up our rice. and. Along with sushi, we have this amazing ginger infused with cinnamon and apple cider vinegar. So as you can see I have a thin sliced ginger. Ginger acts as a palate cleanser. So we'll add this up. So in a pan we have added rice. Now I'll add one and a half cup of water. To make sushi remember that you need short grain rice, you cannot use long grain your basmati rice so as you can see we have uh, put our rice into the pan with water and i have turned on the flame to high so what we will do is we will let the water boil on high heat for one minute then we will slow down our gas and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes inside the pan and then we will turn off the gas for another 10 to 15 minutes before draining out the water So as you can see our rice is done, they have become a uh, little sticky. So now what we will do is we will take a strainer and we will put the rice over there. The reason to do this is to drain out excess water from the rice. Not much but if there is any excess water it will drain out. But at the same time we have to make sure that there is moisture in the rice so that it sticks well to the nori sheets. As you can see I have drained out excess water but luckily I do not have much water into my bowl so they are perfect in the consistency. Now we will move on to our next step. Take a flat vessel or a flat pan and now we will put our rice. In a bowl I have vinegar, now I am adding salt and sugar. We will give it a nice mix and once the sugar dissolves we will add it into the rice. So that will give a really nice tartness, sourness and sweetness to our sushi. So now it's time to add our mixture. Now give it a nice little mix. It's time to assemble our sushi. So let's begin. Before we assemble you need to know that this nori sheet has two sides, one is the rough and one is the smooth side. So always remember that the rough side should come on the mat. Now we will take handful of rice and we will put it in the middle, use our hands to spread it. You don't need to fill the rice till the top. Uh, you need to keep a space of at least uh, of one quarter inch so that when you roll it really uh, sticks together. I have cut julienne's of bell pepper here add in a very particular way since Japanese food is all about being meticulous. So let's try our best to do that. Did you know the first sushi 
was made in the 1820s by a chef called Hanaya. So this is our zucchini. You can also put the topping on top of each other, but I prefer in a very systematic manner. Sushi is one of the most fascinating dishes because it doesn't have any kind of oil and it is also served at a room temperature. Now let's roll our sushi. So carefully roll over your sushi mat. Be gentle when you roll your sushi. You don't want to press too hard. It gets a real nice shape. And our sushi is rolled. A fantastic cylindrical shape we have over here. Now our roll is done. We will cut into small pieces. So now our sushi is done and you know what's incomplete? It's sauce. So let me show you a very quick and easy sauce that will complement with this sushi. So in a bowl take around 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise or take 2 as per your need. 1 tablespoon of chili sauce and give it a nice mix. So as you can see our spicy chili mayonnaise is ready. Now I will show you another sauce which is equally easy to make. So in a bowl take around 1 to 2 teaspoon of soy sauce, add around 2 teaspoons of honey, add 1 fourth spoon of olive oil, we'll add a pinch of garlic powder. Now we will give it a real nice stir. Sauces are ready. That's our spicy chili mayo and that's our honey soy garlic vinaigrette. So now it's time to do our final plating. You know sushi is an elegant dish. So the presentation has to be simple but at the same time very elegant. So come here. Let me show you how we will do it. Now it's time to add the main main ingredient of sushi that is wasabi. Now wasabi originally is a stem of a plant which is grinded into a paste but that's very rare and we do not have an, uh, you know, a choice to get a natural wasabi over here. But nevertheless we have this wasabi paste which is going to act as our wasabi for the day. We will add little pinch and that's how sushi is made at home. As you saw it's really easy and it's really fun to make. The only thing you need is cooked rice and that's it. And then assemble everything and your homemade sushi is done. So now I will grab a bite and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my other videos, if you like my channel, don't forget to share it with your loved ones, your friends, your family. It really helps us to grow. Thank you so much. Until next time.